Hi there, welcome back to our channel. I'm Justin and in today's video, we are going to talk about how you can use AI to generate graphics for your business. And here's an example of something that you can build with AI in just 10 seconds. That's right, you can get an idea that you have in your head and instead of having to explain it to a graphic designer, you can instead just do a little doodle now and AI will turn that into a graphic that you can use for a newsletter, a flyer, a logo, or anything else that you might need to help market your business or your client's business better. So let's jump right into it. And I'm gonna go to ChatGPT and to show you how cool the tool this is and how easy it is to use, I'm just going to ask ChatGPT to give me a random business type and I'll create a graphic for that in this video. So first let's say, uh, please tell me an example of a very popular type of local business. And let's see what it gives us. All right, coffee shops. So let's go ahead and use AI to create a graphic that you can use for a coffee shop. And the tool that we're gonna talk about today is called ClickDrop. And ClickDrop is a new product that was just released in July from Stability AI, which is one of the leaders of AI art creation. And we're a big fan of some of their other tools. So we're really excited about this new product release and what it means for business owners like you. So here you can see a graphic that we created of an ice cream cone, but like I mentioned, we're going to now create one for a different kind of business, the ChatGPT told us, which is a coffee shop. So I'm going to clear this. And what you do is basically give a little doodle of what you have in your brain uh, or in your mind that you want to create, and it'll go and create it for you. So we're trying to create a graphic for a coffee shop. So I don't know, let's say that they're trying to create a flyer to promote a new coffee bean sale that they have. So what we're going to do is just draw a picture of a coffee bean bag. If I remember correctly, it looks a little bit like this. Maybe there's a logo on it, and I'm going to put that on a counter. And then down here, what you can do is explain what it is that you have in your mind also that you wanted to draw. So I'm going to say a picture of a coffee bean bag sitting on the counter of a very nice coffee shop. Here it's set to digital art as a style, but you can change this to whatever you want. So I'm actually going to go ahead and change this to say photographic. So we can get an image that looks like it was taken in your coffee shop. So here I'm going to go ahead and say generate and it's looking at the picture that we gave, right? This little picture, and it's creating ones that match the description and the style that we put it in. So here uh, you can see we put a bag on a counter, uh, and here you can see here are bags on a counter. So it, it matched it beautifully. Uh, and what you can do now is use this in any other kind of design software like Canva to create the flyer that you want. And so let's say that you wanted to use this one. What you would do is just click on it and say download, and then open up Canva. And here we are on Canva, and what I'm going to do is just drag in this image that AI created. I'm going to drag it to take up more of the space. And now I'm just going to add some text to this. So again, using free tools uh, like the Doodle AI and also Canva, we're going to put together a very nice looking flyer that you do not need to pay a graphic designer for. So here I'm going to go ahead and just pick this text and I'm going to say all coffee on sale this weekend. And you can play around with the colors and the sizing uh, to make this better match your brand and how you want it to look. So what you can see is you're now able to take whatever kind of picture you have in your mind, you can tell AI and it'll go and create it for you. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and do a different idea now and see what else we can do. So I'm going to say, give me another business type. Okay, bakery is pretty similar. Let's see what else we can get. Okay, a fitness studio or a gym. So what I'm going to do now is create a graphic that maybe a cycling studio would use uh, if they're trying to create a social media graphic. So let's go back over here and we are going to now attempt to draw a bike that we'll use in a social media post. So here we'll do one wheel. And again, this just shows you do not have to be a good uh, artist to, to use this tool. So here, uh, we're just going to make a very basic looking bike. I swear I know how to ride a bike. I've seen a bike before, even though this does not look good. All right, there you have it, a bike. So what I'm going to do now is put it on the floor, maybe, and I'm going to say a picture of someone riding a workout bike inside of a nice and trendy fitness studio. Again, we're going to do photographic. Actually, let's change it to be cinematic and see what kind of thing you can get. So here it's looking at the picture that we drew and it's going and generating these images for us. Let's see how it did. Okay, this one looks pretty good, right? It's a trendy looking fitness studio, someone riding a very trendy looking bike. And again, all that you would have to do uh, is download this and use it for whatever social media campaign you wanted, whether that was on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram. Uh, and so hopefully you found this helpful. And to recap, all that you do is go over to uh, clickdrop.co 
which is part of Stability AI. You draw a little doodle of whatever it is that you want to create for your campaign or for whatever you're trying to do, and then you generate it, and then you can either use it as is, or you can add it to another free software called Canva, where you can add some text and make it a little bit more customized for your brand. And so if you found that helpful, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep sharing the coolest ways to use AI to grow your agency for a better market your business. Thank you.